Okay, class, uh, this week we're looking at the color of soils and the texture of soils. And so what I've done here is I've set up a little bit of an experiment for you. As far as soils go, most of us are looking at soils for the purpose of growing plant material. So what I did was I went to this company, uh, Midwest Geosciences Group. They sell a calibrated soil kit. And in that soil kit comes uh, eight different soil varieties that have already been calibrated to texture. And then they have the percentages of sand, silt, and clay in them. And so what I did was there's equal amounts of soil that came in a baggie. And I put those equal amounts into these four inch pots. And so for instance, this one is silty clay. The silty clay, the percentage is 194140. And so for each one, I made a little indention in the middle and I put some lettuce seeds. I use lettuce because it's quick growing, it'll show results, and especially as this greenhouse starts to cool. The other reason we're doing this into a greenhouse is to uh, have the perfect ideal conditions for plant growth so that we can eliminate some of the other um, outside factors and just focus strictly on the soil. And so what you guys are going to be doing is you'll be looking in Blackboard for this and you'll see follow-ups to this uh, little study, but you'll be thinking specifically about how texture affects uh, the plant growth. Does it? Does it make a difference? And what results will we see? What we'll do after we get about two or three work weeks worth of data, we'll take uh, a fertilizer and we'll fertilize these all equally, and then we'll see what the resulting effect is. So if you want to come over here and just take a look, I will be posting on Blackboard the, uh, the actual soils. These are the percentages, all the soils that we utilize. I'll post this on Blackboard. The other thing is from the textural triangle, the soils that we actually use, so clay, silty clay, clay loam, silty clay loam, loam, and silt loam, and sandy loam are all being trialed over here in the greenhouse. The only ones we didn't do, sandy clay, sandy clay loam, straight sand, and a straight silt. And so if you want to just take a look here quickly at the soils, note the really different color to these soils. You have some of these very dark soils, the clay loams and the loamy sands, but then you get these a lot lighter soils, the silty loam and the silty clay. So you'll see information about this on Blackboard, you'll see posted follow-up and results, and again we're looking at color and texture. Alright guys, thank you.